If you're like me, for years you have been copying and pasting one line item at a time and maybe even keeping a text document on your desktop. It drives you crazy because when you're closing work orders, let's say you're closing out two or three different items, you have the same notes that you're going to post in multiple work orders, but maybe not consecutively. So what do you do? Windows has solved that problem and I bet you didn't even know this solution exists. Let's go ahead and check it out. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. So guys, if you're in a work order, just like this one here, and you wanna copy and paste your notes, let's say I do a control V, and notice how I can only paste one item down here, in this case, my email. Well, let's say I have notes from my previous work order that I wanna post in there, and not this one right here. You can actually do this, and you can select multiple items on your clipboard, and then drop it in. But how do you activate this feature? Well, you come down here in your search bar and you type in clipboard. And then there's a thing that pops up called clipboard settings. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. You're gonna activate clipboard history. It's deactivated by default on most systems. Once you activate that, then you can just go edit copy, edit copy, edit copy, I do right clicks on everything, copy, 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 copy all your notes for various work orders. In this case, I opened up various work orders that I closed out yesterday. And let's say I wanna drop in my notes right here. Then I go down here and you go your Windows V, and that pops up this, this little guy right here. You can select which one you want. Boop. And notice those notes are dropped in. And let's say I wanna change it. Let's Highlight it, Windows V. Boop, there we go. There's different notes. It's too easy. So guys, it's a very simple thing and I've seen people do it on other YouTube videos and whatnot and I was finally aggravated because on my desktop I kept generic text documents that are disposable and they kept my work order notes and I would go into various text documents based on the model of what I was working on when you can simply go into the history of a PM, copy your notes, and then go through and just change the numerics for whichever one you want, and it's so much easier. And if you're doing two or three different types of items, this little trick right here is gonna save you a lot of time. 